What's up friends? Welcome back for another TMAC 20 workout. I am so excited, literally so excited. I actually texted Todd earlier this week because we're adding in kettlebells. So this is the first kettlebell beginner workout for the strong series. So if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a little warm up here as we do. We're gonna do some knee hucks. So just standing in place here, alternating left and right, grab that knee and then pull it in. As you pull it in, you'll squeeze between those shoulder blades and then drop down. Let's get a couple more in here. We got about 10 more seconds. We're just starting to warm it up, start to get that heart rate up, get the body ready to move. Three more seconds here. Great work team. All right, now we're gonna go into modified jack. So just get the arms going. We're gonna go out right leg, left leg, right, left, and if you wanna pick it up, you can go ahead and do regular jacks right here. Good, 15 more seconds. This is where the heart rate starts to go up. Getting ready for this workout. So excited. We got three rounds today, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. You got this team, nice. Moving on into booty kickers. So here, you can just tap heel to booty. Just kind of marching in place, booty kickers here or you can pick up the pace here. Kick our own butts. You know the drill by now. No one's gonna kick our butts for us. We gotta do it ourselves. Five more seconds. Good, now moving on. We got squat jumps here. If you have any knee injuries, just stay here in air squats. If you can, pick it up. Add a little hop in again. Knee injuries, any pain in the knees, air squats. 15 more seconds here, we're gonna get right in to our workout. Again, we have six exercises, three rounds, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Three more seconds here. Ah, nice, take a big inhale as a team, inhale. Let it all out, we're gonna grab our kettlebell. We have kettlebell squats. So we're gonna flip the bell up, grab on both sides, feet flat, toes pointed forward, and we drop in. Nice deep squat here, coming up, squeezing the glutes at the top, perfect. Now what I want you to do is I want you to count your reps. So whether you get 20, 21, 10, count those reps in this first round. So each round after this, rounds two and three, you can meet or beat those rounds, getting a little better each time, perfect. We got 20 seconds here. I'm gonna show you from the side. So feet are flat, toes are pointed forward, bell is up, and we shoot the glutes down. Come down if you can tap those elbows on the knees, and then shoot up, squeeze the glutes at the top. A couple more reps here, you got five seconds. Two, one, and rest, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go into kettlebell good morning. So grabbing that kettlebell, bringing it up to the chest here, I'm gonna show you from the side. Feet are flat, toes are pointed forward. This time, instead of glutes shooting down, we're gonna shoot back. Right as you start to feel a pull in the hamstrings here, you're gonna come up. So, lean forward, feel the pull in the hamstrings, come up, squeeze the glutes. Good. Again, in this first round, I want you counting your reps every time, setting a goal for yourself for the rest of this workout. Perfect. Good, keep going at your own pace here. The main thing to remember is this is not a squat. The glutes are not shooting down, they're shooting back as you come forward. I'll show you a different placement for the bell in the second round. You have five seconds left to go here. Get those last reps. Three, two, one, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go kettlebell standing chest press. I'm gonna show you always from the front and then I'll show you from the side as well. Feet flat, toes point forward, engage the core, bring the bell up to the chest, and then we're just gonna press out and pull back in. Press out and pull back in. Nice, I'm gonna show you from the side. Feet flat, toes point forward, engage your core, bring the bell up to the chest, and then press straight out and pull straight back in. Again, counting those reps. We're in round one, I want you to count those reps. Press and pull. Core stays nice and tight here. Press 
pull back. Right there at the top of the chest, all the way out, all the way in, at your own pace. Good team. 10 seconds to go. Breathe through it. You got this. Couple more, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, great job. Okay, now we're gonna flip the bell. So the bell is gonna hang toward the ground. Feet are gonna stay flat, toes are pointed forward. This is a foundation we're gonna stay in for most of this workout. This time, we're gonna do a high pull. So elbows go to the sky, and then the top of the bell is gonna come right underneath your chin, and then we release down. So right here, it's just elbows to the sky and release. Count those reps for me. Elbows to the sky and release. Let me show you from the side. Feet flat, toes point forward, engage that core. Elbows go high, come right underneath the chin, and then release down. Perfect. Pull high. You're gonna feel this in your traps. Feel this in your upper back. Good team. 10 seconds to go. Couple more reps here. Pull and release. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Let's take an inhale as a team heel. Inhale. Let it all out and take it down to the mat. So we have kettlebell. Russian twist. Feet flat on the ground, toes point forward. I want the bell facing down toward the mat, and then we're just gonna twist to the right, tap the bell down, twist to the left, tap it down. So we're tapping right, tapping left. This is gonna be the beginner version. If you want a little bit more work, you bring those feet up and cross the ankles and keep that same twist. Right and left, right and left. Let me show you from the front here. Feet flat, toes point forward. You lean back just enough to engage that core. Make sure the bell is pointing down and tap it left and right. You got this team, 10 seconds to go. Stay with it here, keep that pace. Breathe through it. You got this, three, two, one. Beautiful, okay. Last here is gonna be our cardio section. It is our kettlebell swings. I'm gonna show you from the side first. So, plant those feet, hip width distance, toes point forward. We're gonna hinge like we did in the good mornings. So, we hinge and then we release out. Hinge, swing, and release. So we throw those hips forward each time, making sure we have a nice flat back, keeping our shoulders back and down. So make sure shoulders roll back, shoulders stay down. And you can even go from the floor if you would like, if you have a heavier kettlebell. And as you come up, you first swing back and then forward. Back and then forward. Making sure that you're keeping that strong base, having those feet hip width distance or a little bit wider if you need to. Toes are pointing forward, core is engaged. Keep that back flat. Couple more, five seconds to go. Swing, this is a good cardio kettlebell exercise. Good, nice, okay. Inhale, round one is done. Inhale, <sighs> let it all out, let it all go. Shake it out. We got kettle bell squats in three, two, one. Grab your kettlebell, flip it up. The bell is up toward the sky and we drop it down in. Come up, squeeze it. I'm gonna show you from the side. I'm gonna talk you through this. But again, remember those reps that you got that first round and let's meet or beat this round. So if it was 20, let's get 21. A little bit stronger, a little bit better each time. So, feet flat, toes point forward, engage that core, flip the bell up toward the sky, and then drop it all the way down. Come up, squeeze the glutes. Keep that core nice and tight as well. Shoulders are backing down. Come down, keep that chest proud. You got this. Keep the chest open. Five seconds to go, team. Fight for it, let's go. Three, two, and one. Awesome work, awesome work. Okay, I'm gonna show you a different version of the kettlebell good mornings with the bell behind your back. So we're just gonna take it like we're doing a halo. We're gonna rest it right between the shoulder blades. I'll show you right there. And then we're gonna get in that same position. Toes point forward, feet are hip width distance, and then we just lean forward. Glutes shoot back, feel those hammies pull, come up. So the elbows are in front, we're leaning forward, and we're doing some good mornings. Perfect, let me show you from the front here. Again, feet hip width distance, toes point forward, lean forward, glutes shoot back, and then we come forward 
and squeeze. 20 seconds to go, team. You got this. Whether you're holding the bell in front or back, perfect for you. Good. Get those reps, come on. You are so much stronger than you think you are. You got this. We're moving through this together. Beautiful. Awesome work, awesome work. And rest. Nice, be careful bringing that bell down. We're gonna go back to those standing kettlebell chest press. I'm gonna show you from the side here. So bring that bell up, bottoms up, bottoms up. Three, two, one, here we go. Press and pull. It's gonna take some stability right here through the shoulders, through the arms, through the back. Two, press out, hold, and then pull it back in. Press out, hold, and pull it back in. So when you hold on the out, that's a lot of work right there. Pull it back in. Let me show you from the front. Again, make sure you have that same base throughout this entire workout. Toes point forward, feet are hip width distance, core is engaged, we press and we pull. And we're meeting or beating those reps every single time. So excited to be adding this kettlebell in for the beginners. So much fun. All right, three, two, one. Awesome work. Okay, now we're gonna go standing kettlebell high pull. So if you remember, we're gonna flip the bell down now and we're gonna grab the handle. We're gonna point those toes forward, feet hip width distance, engage the core, and elbows go to the sky. So nice high pull here. Perfect, high pull to the sky and release. Again, just like on those chest press, I want you to pull and pause. I want you to hang there for one second at least and then release. Make sure you're holding the tension there before you release. Beautiful team, you got this, come on. Breathe, always remember to breathe. The most important step in the process, you got this. 15 seconds to go. See how many more reps you can get in these last 10 seconds. Come on. You got this. A little better every single time. Every exercise, every rep. You got it. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, take it all the way down to the mat. We have those kettlebell Russian twists. So feet flat, plant them, point the toes forward, knees are bent, grab your bell bells down and we're going to turn to the right and then twist to the left right left you want to make sure that you're leaned back just enough to engage the core before you even pick the bell up so you can have it right between your legs there pick it up and then start the twist again if this is not enough work for you you can bring the heels up cross the ankles and stabilize yourself here balancing right and left you don't want to be all over the place Legs rocking, so stay nice and stable here if you are gonna bring the heels up off the ground. You got 10 seconds to go. Come on, fight for it, team. Tell yourself you can right here. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work, awesome work. Okay, bringing it up for that cardio section. So we have kettlebell swings. I'm showing you again from side first. So we're gonna pick up our bell. We're holding it by the handle. Feet are flat, toes point forward. And remember, as we start to swing, we lean forward, the bell goes right between the legs here, and then we use our hips. Thrust your hips forward, and the bell will go. So it's really not an arm exercise at all here. It should honestly feel like a feather. The bell should feel like a feather because all of the works is coming from your legs. Power from the legs, from the hips, as you shoot up. Let me show you here from the front. You have 15 seconds to go. So driving up through the hips. Good, 10 seconds. Stay with me here, team. Stay with me. You got this. Five, three, two, rest. Awesome work, team. Okay, two rounds down, one to go. That's it. Six exercises left. Are you with me? Air thumbs up. Stay with me here. All right, take a deep breath. We go in three. Grab your kettlebell. Flip the bell upside down and drop it in. So if you notice throughout this workout, it's actually set up to have a squat, a hinge, a push, a pull, core, and cardio. <laughs> so you hit every single group that you need to hit. So this is a full body strong workout. 
It's a lot of fun if you set it up like that. You know that you're hitting every group that you need to hit. Good, stay with me here, team. Show you from the side. Good, dropping in and up. If it's ever too much, you can always drop the bell down and you can just do squats here as well. Five more seconds to go. Good, three, two, and rest. Rest and breathe. Okay, so we're gonna go back to those kettlebell good mornings. You choose, hold here at your chest or bring it around the back, rest it between those shoulder blades. Get your base set up, feet hip width distance, toes point forward and we go. Forward, leaning in, come up, squeeze those glutes, finish the hips every single time. Again, remember, the glutes are shooting back here as opposed to down, which is what you do in your squat. So lean forward, come up. I'm gonna show you a couple holding the bell in front. Right at the chest here, leaning forward, and then driving back up. Good, you got this team, come on. Stick with it, hang in there with me. Get those last reps, 10 seconds to go. Come on, five for it, five. Three, two, and rest. Amazing work, team. Okay, kettlebell, standing, chest press. Remember, you guys are gonna like have dreams of me saying, feet hip with distance, toes point forward, <laughs> core engaged, and I know that you're gonna be doing this right. So, set up your base, bring the bell to the chest, press out, pause, and pull it back in. Press out, pause, and pull it back in. You got this, push, and pull. From that standing position, push, pause, and pull. The three P's, you got this. Push, pause, and pull. Get those reps, you're coming up on 20 seconds here, come on. Breathe through it. You can do this team, I know you can. I love that we're adding in the weight here. It's a whole new ball game with the weight. You got it, 10 seconds to go. Breathe. And I want you all to reach out. I wanna know if these are more fun for you. Three, two, one, awesome work. Okay, kettlebell, high pulls. I'm gonna show you from the front. Get your foundation set up. Every time I say foundation, I mean feet, hip width distance, toes point forward, engage that core, grab by the handle here, and then drive elbows to the sky. The handle's gonna come up right underneath your chin, right there, perfect. High pull here. Now I hope you're meeting or beating those reps every time and keeping track. You're the only one that knows. This is your goal, no one else's. We'll never reach our goals in life if we don't set them. So just know where you wanna go and how far you wanna go. You'll get there. Come on, 20 seconds, breathe. Fight for this team, fight for it. This is the strong series. Show yourself how strong you really are. Internally and externally. It all starts on the inside, you got this. Eight, seven, six, come on. Couple more, three, two, and one. Awesome work, awesome work. Okay, take it down to the mat. Are y'all sweating yet? I need those thumbs up. I'm sweating, my upper lip is sweating, so I know something is working here, come on. Five seconds and we go into those twists, plant those feet, grab your bell. Here we go, right, left, right, left. Tap it down. If it's too much for you to tap it down, you can just turn to the right. You can hold right here and then you can hold on the left. But if you can get it all the way down to tap on the ground or your mat, that's perfect. You got this team, come on. 25 seconds to go. If you wanna pick it up, heels come up, cross the heels, cross the ankles, and then twist. And keep yourself nice and stable. You got this, come on. Say you can here, right here. Believe it team, 10 seconds to go. Awesome, five. Four, three, two, and rest. Great work, okay. Bring it up for that cardio section, our kettlebell swings. So, make sure you grab the handle. <clears throat> you want the bell facing down. Point those toes forward. As you lean forward, the bell's gonna come right between the legs, and then you thrust with the hips, and that's what's gonna drive the bell up. So just as a reminder, this is not an exercise for your arms. This is a lower body cardio exercise. If you add more weight, it becomes more strength. But with a lighter weight kettlebell, it's 
gonna be more cardio endurance. Here we go. Breathe through it here. You got less than 20 seconds left in your workout. Come on, make it count. Breathe. You got this. Get those last reps. Don't quit early, team. Fight for it all the way to the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, team. How do you feel? That was our first kettlebell beginner workout. I feel awesome. I'm breathing heavy. I'm sweating. I'm happy. It was a lot of fun, and I'm glad that you joined us. So let's stretch it out and get to our favorite part of the workout, Shavasana. Okay, let's actually go ahead and take it down to the mat. We can do some combo stretches here. So we're gonna take right leg out, pull the left foot in. We're gonna take a big inhale as a team up to the center. Twist toward the right and lean in. Getting a nice stretch here in your hamstring. We did a lot of hinges. As I mentioned, we hit each area, squat, hinge, push, pull, core cardio. So when you're setting up your own workouts, if you don't have time to press play and hang out with us, then that's how you could set them up. Good. Allowing your breath to come back down to resting. With each exhale, get a little deeper in the stretch. So proud of you, team. I always have so much fun. Genuinely have so much fun with y'all. Good, bring it up. Now let's switch it out. So left foot's gonna go out, right foot's gonna come in. Always start in the middle and twist. So inhale as a team here, inhale. Twist toward the left and exhale on the way down. Whether you grab the toes, the ankle, shin, or knee is totally fine. If you have the knee, just keep a flat back and keep your shoulders back. <clears throat> Great work. Stick with these kettlebell workouts and you will be stronger, both mentally and physically, both internally and externally. Good, one more inhale here. Let it out, get a little deeper in the stretch. Good, bring it up. Now we're gonna bring the feet together. We're gonna go into a butterfly stretch here. You can hold the feet or the ankles here. Keep the back flat, shoulders back. Stay right there, couple breaths. You can even stretch out your mid back there in between your shoulder blades by pulling your chest forward. Good, now both feet are gonna go out. One more here, inhale up to the center and drop all the way in. Exhale. Good, I want you to think about one win that you've had so far today, some success that you've had. Maybe it was making your bed. I've been doing that for 14 days in a row and I am way more productive when I make my bed because I don't work and eat and do everything in the bed anymore. <laughs> so think about one win that you had today. Maybe you responded to your husband or your wife or your kids instead of reacting. That's a win. Good, come up. I'm gonna turn to the side here as we roll it on down. One vertebrae at a time, nice, slow, and controlled. Grab that right knee, pull it in. And as you exhale, pull it across the body. Nice twist here. Gaze goes off to the right. So your knee's pulled off to the left, gaze is off to the right. You should be feeling this tomorrow in your glutes, in your hamstrings, in your core, those Russian twists, they'll get you. Good, bring it back to center. Y'all, I have a funny, embarrassing story I'm about to tell you. Bring that left knee in to the chest, give it a nice squeeze. And then exhale. So, left knee's coming across to the right, gaze is going off to the left. 
the first time I did a serious core workout, I think I was like 13 or 14, I used an ab wheel. And the next day I thought I was dying and they had to take me to the emergency room and I forgot that I had done the ab wheel. And <laughs> uh, yeah, that happened. So if tomorrow from the Russian twist, you kind of feel some cramping in your abdomen, you don't need to go to the emergency room. <laughs> Good, bring it back. And left foot comes out to meet the right foot. Good, hands are gonna fall open. Open to the sky, open to receiving. Feet fall open wide. We're in a posture of receiving. We're in a posture of abundance, allowing all the goodness to come in as we take a little time to ourselves, a little time in solitude, silence, in the stillness, we get answers. So I invite you to think right now about something that you want to call into your life and the answer I believe will come to you during this moment of silence. So let's take an inhale together as a team. Inhale. Exhale, let it all out. As you come back into the space here, wiggling those toes, wiggling those fingers, take one nice big stretch overhead, stretch the arms out as far as they can go, stretching the feet and hands away from each other. It's a big morning stretch, like when you wake up in the morning, ah, oh, just before you get out of bed, it feels so good. Good, and then you're gonna roll over onto your right. Take an inhale here as a team. And then press all the way up with your eyes still closed. Cross those legs. Keep those hands in receiving whatever it was that you're calling in. I just feel like sharing with y'all today. I'm, I'm calling in my future husband. So, so if you're out there watching, <laughs> I was thinking about you. Oh, okay team. So whatever you were thinking about, I believe that it will come to you soon. And I would like you for now to bring your hands together into prayer, locking it in, and knowing that this is exactly where you were supposed to be right here, right now, in this time, in this moment. And I am so honored and grateful that I got to spend this time with you. So go out, enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, and just know that there's someone out there that's proud of you for showing up for yourself today. God bless. Thank you all for coming back week after week, day after day. We are gonna keep programming new workouts for you. I'm actually just really excited for this new Strong series. So come back for more workouts, TMAC 20.